Hello, Harry. Hello? Oh, oh, hey. Hey, Harry Potter fans. Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel, where we are a community of collectors. This right here, this pile of stuff, is a wizarding world of Harry Potter Hall. So this haul is actually from multiple trips to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I just never did a haul video. So I'm gonna do a haul video right now. Let's just move this out of the way and you can see what I purchased. The uh, Mrs. Weasley's Harry sweater. I really wish that Lockhaven who makes these sweaters and made them for the Harry Potter films made a Percy sweater. P for Peter, P for Potter Collector. Here is the first item. The only problem with these sweaters is that they're just a little bit too short. So you need to like stretch out the sleeve. At least for my arms, they're a little bit too short. Here is a Universal Studios Orlando bag. It's not a Wizarding World of Harry Potter bag. This is one of their just standard Universal Orlando bags. And inside is something very fun. A troll foot. It's a troll foot pen holder. So you stick your pen or your wand in the troll foot and stick it on your shelf or stick it on on your desk and it's a really fun fun item to have now normally this was forty dollars and 99 cents but now they're a lot cheaper i think under twenty dollars but actually a friend got this one for me and it was less than that so that's even better who doesn't want a troll foot next up is the ash wand the ash wand right here and they come with a here's the the to-go bag the olivander's uh, bag that they give you to to take your wand out of the store. All of the wands come in Ollivander's original wand boxes. This is one of the Ollivander's original wands. Only at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter can you purchase the Ollivander originals. And all of them are interactive, so you go around the theme parks and there are different magic spots and you can perform magic with these interactive wands. These are the wands that choose the wizard during the Ollivander's wand experience. All of the interactive wands, whether they be Ollivander originals or character wands so wands from the Harry Potter films that we know Universal Studios sells interactive wands of those as well as well as collectible options so if you don't want an interactive wand you can purchase a collectible one and all of the interactive wands come with a map of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So this is of Diagon Alley, and then the back side shows all of the spell locations in Hogsmeade. So you can use this map to determine where the spells are located, what movement needs to be performed in order for that magic to occur, and the spell that you need to say. Here is a fun item. This was a discontinued item, actually. This is Victor Crumb's Triwizard Jersey, and this was discontinued at Wizarding World of Harry Potter, and a friend of mine had had two of them and they sold both of them to me for really inexpensively so that was really cool I was like I have to buy two why would I buy two do I really need two uh, of course not you guessed it one of them is being given away to you so check out the description below to learn how you could win this retired no longer sold no longer made Victor Crumb trouser tournament jersey they're both size small yeah this one's a small the other one's a small it like barely fits me so it's a a little bit larger than a small, but it's cool just to have, even if you don't wear it. I thought it'd be cool to even frame it, honestly, make it look like, you know, Victor Crumb's jersey is hanging on your wall. When it was sold in the parks, it was $48.99. This is the Slytherin Quidditch sweater. Very, very cool sweater. This goes perfectly with a Quidditch cosplay. And the back is simple. The front, it has a house patch, Slytherin house patch in this case. And the back is a little bit longer than the front. So when you're sitting on your broom, you got a little bit of cushion on your booty. These retail for $109.95. They are the authentic sweaters made by Lock Haven, who made all the sweaters for the Harry Potter movies. They are 100% Scottish wool as well. So you wouldn't want to dry this because that would be an expensive mistake. Beautiful sweater. This is going to go incredible with my Quidditch cosplay. This sweater, I think, retails for $89.95. Yeah, $89.95. Next up, which I think is so cool, and and I'm going to fold them all and have them kind of flying on my ceiling. They're Ministry Memo airplanes. Cool, look at this. So it comes in like a little folder. Oh, look at that, cool. So it comes with different stickers and then folding instructions and the memos are here. Well, they don't say anything on them, but you could write your own memo. Oh, this is really high quality stuff, holy moly. Here is one of the Ministry Memos, the papers. So you write your memo and then you fold it up into a paper airplane. 
airplane or magic it into a paper airplane and then send it on its way throughout the Ministry of Magic. But look at the back, gold foiled backing. All right, let's see how to fold these memos. All right, so we fold it in half, unfold it, fold the bottom up to the horizontal line, which is up here, which reveals the gold foiling on the back. And then you could hang them from your ceiling in like a, they're all flying away to their their location sort of a thing. All right, next up in this bag, we have, this is a Jarvi puppet, but Jarvi is like a talking ferret. Hello, Potter Collector community. This I actually got for someone. Someone had sent me a message on Instagram saying, hey, I would love to get that Jarvi and I'll pay for shipping and I'll pay you back. They never responded. So unfortunately, this is the last time I will ever do a favor like that. It's still cool to have have, so I'm happy that I have it, but it was a little expensive and I wouldn't have purchased it otherwise. $32.95. Maybe I'll give it away at some point. Next up is a puppet that I have wanted for a long time and I'm very excited about. It's not really a puppet actually. This is a real owl. I love birds. So there's a, a handle inside that allows you to rotate the head and then there is a little button on her wing. Oh. Okay, you go to sleep now. So Hedwig is a really cool puppet and I definitely recommend that you pick one of her up if you go to Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Even if you're not like a plush person, I'm not a plush person, but Hedwig is too cool to pass up. Next is a Slytherin Quidditch shirt or Seeker shirt. They make all four of the houses and on the front it has the Seeker number, which is 07. On the back it has the name of the Seeker in that particular house. So Malfoy and then Ravenclaw is Cho Chang, so it says Ch Chang, Hufflepuff, it says Diggory, and on Gryffindor, it says Potter. Next up is stuff, I think, all from Scribulus, which is kind of like a stationary store. I am not a writer. I don't love to write, yet I love Scribulus. Scribulus is such a fun store, and I went a little crazy with stuff from Scribulus. First up, I purchased a wax seal with the letter P on it for Potter Collector or Peter, and some silver seal wax. One of you recently asked me how much the wax seals were and I didn't know the price offhand. The silver sealing wax, $3.95. The wood handle is separate from the stamp, unfortunately, $12.95. And the brass seal is $13.95. I got my quill and my ink. This is a cool ink dispenser. It has a little place to rest your quill in. I don't really have a desk to put stuff on. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was really cool. Here is where the ink is located and then you can rest your, your quill here or you can rest it over on here. I chose a black quill because it's simple. They also sell quills with pens attached to them. So if you don't want to use ink, you can purchase a pen quill. The ink well and stand combo was $28.95 and the quill was $14.95. Then I got this Slytherin pad for $14.95. It's a, a desk pad and it has various pieces of paper with the Slytherin logo on it. Then last but not least from Scribulus, I picked up these Hogwarts Express note cards. Wait until you see these. Here is the package. On the back, it's like a little briefcase or suitcase. And inside, are the note cards and on the front it has a Hogwarts Express ticket. So actually what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to write a very quick note with my ink quill and I'm gonna send it to one of you. So if you would like to receive this card that I am writing out something right now, I'll leave a comment down below and then I'll just randomly select someone and send it off to you. I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't know what I'm doing. Dip, dip. It's still going. So weird is my handwriting looks like Harry's handwriting in Chamber of Secrets when he's writing in Tom Riddle's diary. I want to write all the time like this. All right, let's sign it and we'll put our quill in its little holder. And here is the result of my very first ink quill writing. If you would like to receive this card, leave a comment down below and I will randomly select one of the comments. And I've got a lighter, which is a little bit scary to have in a library full of books. And we are going to drip it on the point of the envelope. And then we gotta stamp it.
Here is the wax seal, and I may even use the ink quill to address this to whoever wins. The Hogwarts Express note cards were $28.95, and I think you get like 16 of them or something like that. All right, I saved the best items for last, the items I'm most excited about. I'm going to do a more in-depth review of these, so I'm just gonna show them in this video. It's because I wanna actually look at the details and review them. I purchased the remaining Horcruxes that I needed, including Tom Riddle's diary. It has metal corners and Tom Riddle's name here. Then on the inside are just blank pages. I wonder if we splashed some ink if it would disappear. Since Nagini is a Horcrux, I decided to purchase the Nagini Magical Creature that was made by the Noble Collection. So it's a, a little statue and you can get various magical creatures, which is cool, but Nagini is one of them. But here is the Nagini statue. These magical creatures from the Noble Collection would be really fun to collect. So if that's something that interests you, check them out. Slytherin's locket comes with a display case as well. If you want to display it in here, that kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like. The locket does open. What you could do is put like a replica of Regulus Black's note to the Dark Lord. This is, oh, this is Marvolo Gaunt's ring. It is also the Resurrection Stone. The Noble Collection replicas are fantastic. I highly recommend that you get them if you're interested in collecting replicas. The ring also comes comes with a display box and it's just a really really nice display. Last but not least is my favorite Noble Collection item out of all of them. It also happens to be a Horcrux. A lot of you already know what it is. This is Ravenclaw's Diadem. Look at the box that it comes in. Noble Collection really spared no expense in creating this. The only thing I wish is that this was more like felt than paper. It has a nice satin-like material to hold the diadem, and then here is the diadem itself. Now, I am not a Ravenclaw, so I wouldn't dare put this on my head. I, I would be struck down with lightning or something, or my brain would be dissolved to mush. It is a a gorgeous, gorgeous piece and just sparkles. Well, that was my Universal Studios Wizarding World of Harry Potter haul. Again, it was from multiple trips to the theme parks, but it was so fun to do a haul reveal for you guys and show you some of the merch that you can purchase at Wizarding World of Harry Potter. If you are going to be going to Wizarding World of Harry Potter sometime soon and would like some tips and tricks, check out the videos that I have posted. I have a whole section of Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos on this channel from shop tours where I go into each individual shop at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and show you the different merchandise items, the prices, the sizes. I also have a few tours of of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, mukbangs where I'm eating all of the food. Make sure to check those out. I will post a link down below to the playlist for those. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, Harry Potter collecting, or anything else, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also reach me on Instagram at the Potter Collector or Twitter at Potter Collector. Don't forget to enter the giveaway for the Victor Crumb jersey, and don't forget to let me know if you would like to be sent this card that I just filled out right here in this video. Now it is time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time. Hi guys, I'm Carlos. Hi, I'm Bibi. We're from Venezuela. Venezuela. Keep, Keep collecting. collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go? Number Subscribe one. to him. Subscribe to him. <laughs> He's the best.